um, you kind of answered a question I wanted to ask you, mm-hmm. which was, what would you tell your past self? Yeah. Um, like, if you could go back in time now, and then you speak to yourself, that's just starting <coughs> out, what would you tell them? But you kind of answered it already by saying, like, you don't need all of this. Yeah. What's, what social media shows you, yeah. you don't need that to, to get to where you need to go. 100%. But is there anything else you would like to add to that? Um, yeah. I will add... Well, there are two things I would add. Firstly, it's all right to cry. Mm-hmm. Um, I think when I was growing up, because like just the way that things happened in my life, like yeah. So my mom, God bless her, she lost her dad, then she lost her brother, or the other way around. I can't remember which one happened, and then she lost my dad. Yeah, like in the space of a very short short time, maybe a couple of years. So when my dad died, and she told us, it was me, my older sister, uh, my auntie, and her in the room. Yeah, she told me. She told us, and she's crying, my auntie's crying, my sister's crying. I'm just looking like, raw. someone in this room needs to not be crying, but I'm used to it being you. Mm. So if it needs to be someone and it needs to be me, then boy, I'll take it in it. Mm. So from there, it was a very emotionally stilted journey for me. Where yeah. it's like, raw, men don't cry. What? You dumb. Let, yeah. that, let, let, let that man cry in it. And no one taught me otherwise, innit? So it was like, whenever I had emotions, I didn't deal with them properly. Mm. I, I would bottle it up and then take it out on someone who didn't deserve for it to be taken out on. There was a time. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me see. Where, let me see where this is going. There was a time where it was before a competition, mm. and um, I was with, I was in a relationship with someone who's an athlete, mm-hmm. and we were at a hotel in separate rooms. Obviously, like man's competing in serious mode, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man can't be sharing a, a room with your girl. <laughs> competition. I mean, I mean, I, I mean I've I, done it in the past, and I definitely ran poorly. So you know, <laughs> we live and we learn, innit? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> I've had I've had talks on this subject <laughs> many many a time about how that may or may not affect performance, but I think we'll leave that off the podcast for today. <laughs> we can have that conversation Calm. later. When the man so. don't watch this, they'll know what I'm talking about. I know you're watching this and say you're you're dumb. You're gonna get in trouble. I know I know I am, but I can't help it. <clears throat> oh god, let me get some water, man. <laughs> Hi, take away, man. Anyway, yeah, there was a time where. We were at a competition and it was on the 10th. Woo! <coughs> I think I'm good now. That, good that is your mum at home. Listen, <laughs> I say, be very careful what you say right yeah, now. 100%. Um, it was on the, the competition happened to fall on the 10 year anniversary of my dad's death. Okay. And I was rattled. I, I didn't know how to process it, but mm-hmm. I didn't think about it. And then we were in the, my, my hotel room just talking and we just talking about something. I just started crying. Mm. And I looked at her through my teared eyes. Yeah. And she was like, she didn't know how to deal with it. Mm. I didn't know how to deal with it. I was just, we were just, I was just crying in her presence. Mm. And I was like, bro, that's like, after thinking about it, I was like, that's not fair on, on her to mm. put that on her emotionally, put that on anyone emotionally. Um, but I didn't know how to process my emotions at the time. So mm-hmm. I, was just, I was just there. Literally, I cried. I was like, yeah, you, I think you should go to your room now. And she was like, are you sure? I was like, yeah, I'll be all right, man. She's like, Prove it. You, I've never seen you cry before, and now you're crying. I was like, yeah, but you know, I'll be alright in it. So, like, my journey from that point and from obviously uh, the the actual event itself to now, like, I'll tell man, like, yo, I don't feel happy today. I'm not happy today. Mm. But it used to be a thing where man would be like, Ruben, you're right, young cool man, all the time, all yeah. the time. Oh yeah, I can't complain. Man would be like, what do you mean can't complain? Tell me how you feel. Someone said to me one time, look, Ruben, we feel like we spend all this time with you, we know nothing about you. Mm. I was like, yeah, man, you know, it's just. Keep on a need to know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like literally, like so very guarded, very extremely guarded to the point where, like, my boys, the man them, mm. like people who like I could happily tell them anything that I've yeah. done, like, has happened in my life. They didn't know things, and they were like, "Bro, but why didn't you just tell us?" Mm. I'll be like, "Times like, ah, oh, Ruben, man." I'll be like to them, "Ah, oh, yeah." In hindsight, I'll tell them like retrospectively, "Oh yeah, like." A year ago, I was on my face. I had no money. I was coming to training. I didn't know how to get to training. I was like bumping trains. I was doing this, I was doing that. I had to sell this and that to get this and do that. Mm. Like, not drugs or anything. I had to sell like headphones. <laughs> I, I went to CEX. <laughs> CEX. Trading market. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, what? Wait, I, I can give you 50 pound for it. 50? Pound. Listen, I had, I had Beats Solo Freeze, yeah? Wireless thing. I said, cool, these are worth 220 pound. Let me go to CX, see what they give me. Mom's like, hey, boss man, I give you 40 pound. I said, oh my <laughs> God, 40 pound. 
I looked at him and said, no, nah, when I said it somewhere else, I said, look, I promise you, you will not get a higher resale than this. I said, I promise you I will. He went somewhere else. I said, look, they just told me 40 pounds. What can you do for me? He's like, look, I'm not gonna lie, 40 pounds is a bit generous. I would've given you 38. I said, wow, I'm gonna go back and get my 40 pounds. <laughs> but for solo free, wireless. Fam, I was livid, but I needed the money. Did I told them, I, fam, I told them <laughs> and they were like, but Ruben, you could've just asked us for help, like if you needed it. And it's I was pride, like, though. it's pride and it's like, I yeah. didn't, honestly, I didn't know that was an option. Mm. I didn't know you could do that. Like, I didn't know you could actually tell people like, raw, I'm vulnerable and I'm in a bad place. Can you help me out? Mm. I was so used to like, not wanting to bother people with my issues yeah. that I just kept it to myself. But yeah, I definitely tell myself, like, you're, you're allowed to cry, you know? Cause I swear, there's times where I was like 10, 11, 12, things were happening. I was like, bruv, I need to cry, but I had to hold it in. Um, like right now you talking to, I feel like I'm talking to myself. Fam. Like, like he said, guys, trust me, if you need to cry, it is okay. Ain't no one gonna think any different of you. Fam. Trust me. It's, it's it that is a, that is such a topic that I would love to cover oh, yeah. um, on something else. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just gonna say I'm gonna ask this question because mm. um, it's been I've been kind of thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you lost your dad. Yes. So young, mm -hmm. and obviously, ten year anniversary. You've had an anniversary each year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But why was the tenth one so significant, and has it bothered you? like throughout your childhood, like growing up and obviously you're a young adult now, mm. but in comparison to 10th year mm. to now, mm. do you still have the same kind of issues or is it different? You know what, yeah? I be mad fake sometimes, man. Like not now, obviously, like everything, everything I said to you, I mean it and it's genuine. Mm. But like when I was growing up, it wasn't even a thing that I thought about. It was like, well, mum's here, mm. we move. Obviously, sometimes okay. you get sad. Oh, no, I wish I had a dad. Oh, no one to play catch with. One of them kind of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But like the 10th year, it was weird because it's like I built myself up into this place where it was just poetic justice. Like I was like, okay, cool. It's been 10 years since mm -hmm. your dad's gone away. The Olympics is this year. It's 2016. Mm -hmm. The Olympics is this year. How lovely would it be as a tribute to him mm -hmm. to go out there and go to the Olympics as a 19-year-old or however old I was? Yeah. Um, and be like, right, I did this for you, like for you. So when I was, I wasn't having the best of seasons anyway. Mm -hmm. And at that point I was even injured when I went to the championships I went to. And I was just like, it's just not coming together. But it's like, that, that at that point, it was like, I was doing him a disservice. Like, raw, you couldn't even do this for me. Mm -hmm. Like, raw, you couldn't even get it together for me for on the 10th year, raw, raw, Ruben, what are you doing? So it was like, oh man, these times, no one's asked me to do this. No one's asked me to put this on myself. I just put it on myself. So I was like, yeah, it was a, it was very emotional, but now I have blips, I have moments where it's like, mm. so my PB, the person with 1018, I ran that on my dad's anniversary two years sick. ago. Sick. So I was like, cool, whatever, let's go. Like that one, that's for you, that's for you, that's for mum, that's for my sister, my other sister, my brother, everyone. Like that's for the man them, that's ours. Like we mm. got that. Um, and then like the year after, I remember I was out with my girlfriend at the time, and we went to go watch uh, Creed two. Sick. Now, the Creed films in themselves are really good films. I love yeah. it. Mm. But like, I am a black person that has lost their dad who does sport, who really wants to do well. Mm. Adonis Creed is a black person <laughs> who has lost his dad that does sport, that mm. wants to do well. The first time I watched the first Creed, when he got knocked out and he had the flashback of his dad, cried instantly, boom, tears, wow. I said, raw. So I told the girl that I was with, like, mm. so when I watched the first one, I cried. She's like, I didn't see the first one. I said, oh, that's all right, it's a good film. You can still watch the second one and understand what's going on. Yeah, cool. There's a point in the second film where man is just, he's fighting, um, spoilers. Bolo. <laughs> Bolo, man. He's fighting Bolo, man, isn't it? Uh, Drago's son. And he's just waxing him like, bow, 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 bow. And it was such a like cathartic moment for me in the cinema, in front, just boom, bam, started crying. Mm. So I'm crying, but I'm not crying like super quietly. So I'm, you know when you grow <laughs> <laughs> And because the cinema's quiet, <laughs> everyone can hear you. I'll be doing the. So my girl's looking over me and she's like, What's going on? Oh, you're good, you're good, you're right. These times, I've walked out of the cinema I'm now. Good. Fam, I walked out of the cinema and I was like, I don't want to talk about it. It's absolutely fine. She was like, Are you, are you sure? I was like, Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Like, just, just let me cry and then I'll move on. I'll be all right. I just mm. need to get this cry out. So we're sitting in Nando's and she's just looking at me, Perry Flamer in front of the thing. And she, I'm just there, like, literally. <sighs> <laughs> Alright, buddy, man, I'm good, I'm good. Yo, so what? Flipping, yeah, wings in it, yeah. <laughs> like, and it was the strangest thing. And like, 
I didn't even get to apologize to her about that. I don't think I apologized to her. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for doing that. Um, that's a really awkward thing to, to put you in. Uh, I hope you forgive me for that. Um, but yeah, so like, I have blips, but now because I'm so, I'm not scared to be open about things. Yeah. So I'll tell people like, yo, this today isn't really a good day for me, man. Like, you know, it's the anniversary of my dad, so it's whatever. And I share it with people beyond even my inner circle. So yeah. this year I tweeted, um, the video of the race from two years ago. I said, look, today is my dad's anniversary. It's a very special day for me. This PB is really important to me. Um, this is the race, obviously. It meant a lot for me on the day, as you can see, because I ran the PB. I didn't know, I lost to OJ. I was kind of pissed I lost to him at, at that time, innit? Yeah. Obviously, I was happy for, I was happy for him. Mm. And I was like, Shit, I, I could have beat him, man. Yeah. Whatever. So he's run the clocks up to 10.14. Mm -hmm. Everyone's like, oh, 10.14 is an amazing time. Woo! It gets rounded down to 10-12, which is the world champ standard. Yeah. So everyone in Bedford's gone mad. Oh my God, he ran the standard. <laughs> and it was nuts because I think um, Daryl just did the same thing, like yeah. won the standard at, at Bedford. So everyone's like, oh my God, the group is so sick. <laughs> man, they're my God. I'm like, all right, cool. so I'm clapping for them. I'm like, yo, yeah. like, well done, man. Because these are my friends. Like, these are yeah. people that I, I know, I grew up with. And then they got, the announcer goes, oh, and we just got Ruben off his time in second, 10.18. And I dropped on the floor. I mm. said, bruv, I said, I knew something was going to happen today. I don't know what it was, but I knew something good was going to mm. come today. So I PB'd in the semi final around 10 20, and around 10 18 in the final. I just dropped on the floor. I just put my hand on my face and said, thank you, man. Said, thank you. I mean, at that point, like, obviously, you've crossed the line of 10 12 to 10 18. Yeah. That's, that's not far. Big man, I was winning. I don't care what anyone says, I was winning most of the race. <laughs> you know what? These two people, yeah, they come do this last five meter thing. I said, zoom, zoom. I said, bro. Yeah, strategy. Yeah. So, credit to him, innit? Like, obviously, shout out to him. He's, he's sick at what he does, but like, yeah. Okay. Like, you, you, you must have known or had an inkling that you'd run very fast. Yeah. Being that close. You see the time flash up on the screen. Yeah. Like, yeah. hmm, 10 14. Mm. I'm this close. Mm. PB, one of those ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and ten eighteen and on slouch time. No, not at all, not at all. Like <laughs> you're there. Yeah, yeah, you're basically there. I mean, what's the what's the you the power of ten? Ten ten now. Yeah, so it's uh, not too far. We're still not there. too far at all. Yeah, still there. Minus so, minus eight, minus eight. We're good. Yeah, yeah we're good. We're good. We're good. Question of the tone when I'm stepping in. Thirty bottles of the zoom till I'm sending me. I had to let.